Good morning, everyone. We are back again for the assembly of the frame with the artwork that at Judy P's Crafty Journey sent us. Last week, we demonstrated the cutting and some of the techniques to color the texture of the frame. Now the frame is ready for assembly, and we will be doing that first. Very first thing. I'm clicking over. Here we are. How are we going? Yeah, hi. How are you there? Here we are. Good morning, everyone. Here, I'll put P a little bit more in the frame. Good morning. This is P. Patricia. M. Mariah. Hello, all. Together. We are. PM Artist Studio. <laughs> We've done better. Please. We've done better. Okay. Um, like we said, so last week we went a little slower than we had anticipated on getting the frame done. Yeah, and then P was... did some cool things to the frame after the of course. thing. Let's say good morning to some people. Okay, who's there? Sharon. That blue is really, can you make that a different color? What are you talking about? Contrast. Oh, this thing in the back? No, the people's names. It's no, really I am hard not, for me to I see I am not that. in charge of that. Well, they obviously aren't catering to older people. Probably not. And they probably should since we're a large contingent of the population. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Okay, I saw some. See, the white I can read just fine, but I don't know who's talking. <laughs> That's um, Robin's Creative Space. And then we've got Judy P. Judy! And we've got Lisa and Robin. we got both Robins. Oh, Robin A and Robin B. Yes, but actually she's Robin C because it's oh. Robin Creative Space. Oh, we, oh, that's right. We lost Robin B. <laughs> there was a she third Robin. She fell by the side. Yeah, we have not seen Robin, <laughs> the, the other, the third Robin. Oh, there's Anne. Hi, Anne. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, she loves my neck. Oh, the blue ones are our moderators. Oh. That's, that's what shows up in blue. There we go. Oh, okay. Well. Now she knows. No, she I doesn't know. read the chat anyway. Well, they need to change the color. Oh, right she now. Anne loves your necklace. I know she does. Thank okay. you. I made it. Oh, good morning, Leslie. You see my earrings? I'm channeling Jerry Garcia today. The, Johnny Cash. I didn't have any guitars to put on, but... Yeah, it's my black She's going to bust out with the ukulele later. I, I, <laughs> it's up here. Actually, I have a little guitar pen. I just don't know where it is. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, remember that? I've I had do. it since sixth grade. Yeah. Okay. Actually, so we're going to pop over to my camera first. So P's going to yeah. bring me over the things that she's supposed to bring me over. Okay. And well, we're going to get this. I can pass them to you. Okay, through can, the, can you pass them through the pass? I'll pass them through the pass. Okay. Oh, good morning, Sandy. And we got Mary Ann. We hung out with Mary Ann and Sharon last night. Oh, yeah. You should bust out those tags and show those tags. Oh, here. I'll show them to everybody. I think, was Ann there for a little while? And had some of you guys over there, I know. Um, that's my thing from there. And here's my... Yeah, here's P's tags and her little cluster that she made. Oh, here, hold on. It'd help if I switched over to that camera, wouldn't it? Looky there. Okay, there we go. See? So, there's P's cluster and then her her tags, those two she made. I did these two. This was the toilet paper challenge. I'm looking for my clusters. Here they are. Looky there. Pretty excited about all that. I'm going to turn P's camera off because she's not really doing anything over there. I'm really not. Let's see. Do you play the loot? You cl no. No. Izzy has one. She she has one and she... Oh, we plonk on it. Plonk on it, but no. Okay, here's here's all of the frames. And I'm going to have to come and sit by you. So yes, I think so. That it. would be really great. Now, I, I've lost the... Um... He's got everything in folders. Look at this. It says frames. Yes, and considering I just, you know, messed around and played last night instead of, you know, doing my work. <laughs> she was supposed to be working, but she couldn't help herself. I couldn't. I told Mariah, I said, Mariah, I am going to be very focused. I am going to get ready for the live tomorrow. I will listen to you guys, but I am not uh -huh. messing around. Yeah, so then she started messing around. Yeah. She made some things. Oh, good morning. All right, see you. Let's see. Felicia's here, and... Oh. I think we said hello to, to Sandy. All right, guys. Hi, this Sandy. is exciting. Was Sandy in the in the live last night? She was. Hi, Sandy. I remember you. <laughs> I have a good good friend in at my old school named Sandy. 
Look at these. See, we have some others that we thought um, once we get this framed up, we could play around and peek and show you exactly what she did to make the, you know, I think they, they called this the um, this is peanut chocolate peanut butter. butter. Uh-huh. Chocolate peanut butter. Well, chocolate peanut butter didn't make it to the cut because it's not going to be the one you. I don't know why. I really do like it, but this is the one that's, you want to that's use. That's the one I it. want it to use. Okay, so we're going to be using these two. So see, this with was the one that she did. And then Judy's here's the artwork. Work. Okay, and then do you have the end piece, dear Lord? Oh, no. What? End that we have to sandwich in here to make the little... Oh, no, I gave that to you. Uh, oh, was that the piece that you gave me? Yeah, okay. the perforated piece. Yeah, I know where that is. I said, you need to really put this someplace because it's just one piece, and I don't want to make a file folder for one <laughs> silly piece. I should have just put it in it. with the frame. I got it over here. Look at that. See, I know where things are at. Well, I... I sort of knew that when you handed it to me, but then I was kind of like, uh, you were why probably do I thinking, need that? Yeah, thank you. So I put it with the rest of this stuff. Okay, so let's start out with these, and then um, I'm going to, we'll pass that back over to Pete, and she can show you guys if you're interested on that, or we can move on into pages. We're going to let you guys kind of... Um, yeah, you want to see yeah. what I do with the frames, or do you want to see pages? Actually, we might have time for both. Yeah. Um, we're right. a little more organized this week than we were last. We yeah, weren't sure about this. This was something we've never really done, so that's a why. Okay. So, I need to cut this down more, obviously. But not until you know. Right, not until I know. We, we and I don't, a... I don't really know why you would need to. I think the more you've got there that's catching, the more stable it will be. Uh, yeah, you are right about that, ma'am. But... Because you want this two sided, oh, it, it must be cut. Oh, oh, oh. See, this, this, there, there this is, is a reason <laughs> that I am not doing this. <laughs> I, I, I can do the art, arty, arty this, stuff. Yeah, so she would have had like this. <laughs> I would have said, well, damn. Sugar. Sugar. Aw, sugar. Aw, sugar. Okay, I'm supposed to be reading this now. Oh, good morning, Jenny. Okay. Welcome. Yes. We were guest creators. Well, I wasn't supposed to be. I was just supposed to be working a, on things. A, a, an observer and working on, but I had I got up extra early this morning. And All right. So this is your final decision. I want to make sure that you are really, really, really sure about this because this is this is the time that you could change your mind. Well, let me see the other one. I know. I really just I love that other one, and I think that it's worth having the conversation. Well, it is, but, you know, the reason I like that is because it has more contrast. It does have a bit more contrast, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What do you guys think? Let us know in the chat. Right or left? Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> Top is, or bottom? This is, this is how I do it when I, I go to frame, frame my stuff. See, Izzy's been drawing on my thing again. <laughs> hey, she's into stars lately. Yeah. She's real proud of herself. She is. <laughs> She drew a star on her homework paper the other day. Uh, I just thought, you know, if that teacher, she's just going to have to get it. But, yeah. That our baby just doesn't always do exactly what it was that she wanted she to do. She went to time out this week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what are people letting us know here? Looks uh, like leather. All right. Well, let us know. You want... This is the original... Um, okay. What did you Sandy say? says I like the darky. Dark. Me too. Okay, so we're going with, I think so too. Now yeah. that I see it in the frame. This looked good, but I just yeah. kept thinking there's just something. And I really, you know, I thought about, and I did rub in old Seth's stuff, but it just didn't go dark enough. Okay. So now, our next thing that we must consider, and I think what I should do is probably get the, the frame glued on to here first, and then we'll allow for whatever we can here okay I have a suggestion okay I would tape it together on the back your frame yes you've been doing that and that was very helpful I decided you know I, I left them apart because I thought I would be able to control the, the texture part but it's actually better to make the tech put the texture paste on with the frame together and all you just you know just glue a little piece of okay let me tell you that <laughs> and, and I'm sure there's 
I'm absolutely positive there are reasons for this or whatever, but um, square frames are the way to go. <laughs> um, trying to... <laughs> Uh, yeah, re re rectangles throw a whole new wrench in the and works. The, the angle is... The angle of the dangle just does not match up. <laughs> it's different, and you have to do other things, and, and my brain just does not seem to work that way. But we do have some that are, you we'll, know... Pretty... We'll sh show you here in a minute what I'm talking about and why oh, I yeah. Yeah. about lost my mind. And I told P, I was like, I I I'm done. <laughs> I said it's okay. It's close <laughs> enough. I can make it work. This is not... Now, can I leave the tape in there, you think? And glue, just glue it as is? Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Right? That's why I used the, the washi, because I felt like... Now, here's one of the other little things. I may need to use the little scissors, clip that up, so that way I can get those a little more taut. Matchy-uppy. A little matchy-uppy. I think it needs a trim job. Well, it's because you're using that crabby tape, and it doesn't <laughs> hold. I don't think that this is more about. See, see that? Bit? Oh, because I have stuff hanging yes. out there. Oh, yeah. That's what I was talking about. I tried. Now, on the later ones, I got much better at that because yeah. I realized that that was going to be an issue. Yeah. The texture paste overhangs. <laughs> you must take your finger and run it along there and get rid of it. Yeah, that's my require. You might have to bust out with the wire cutter. <laughs> Are you okay, reading the chat? Was, I was. I missed out. What was funny? Let's see here. Oh, um, what's oh SNL? That yes, that's the Saturday night like the the chat thing that we did last night with the happy paper people, Marianne and Sharon. We had a good time. I am going to work out what 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 the deal was with the camera situation. That's making my brain crazy. Okay, I, I, <laughs> that paste is just giving me a real, real go. All right, I'm calling that good I, I, can, I can probably, you know, fill it in with something. Okay, now, we have a little bit of play. Okay, good point. But I think that you have more of a we thing need, with this one yes. than... Because that's very crucial. The top of that needs to be, as much of that needs to be included as possible. So I really honestly think we should start on that one. Put this one aside. For okay. So here's going to be our frame for this one. What do you guys think of that? So how many, I know it doesn't look like probably a ton in here. It's, and I'm in, gonna, it's really horrible. I'm going to move that up because it's super shiny. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, but what you did, three, four different layers on this thing? Because um, it was gold. Yes. And then I went over it with... Silver. No, I went over it with that the matte, um, the chalky paste. Chalky paint. And I just kind of brayered it on. Uh-huh. And I didn't like that. So then I, my final one was I just took good old uh, Something kind of pinky. Martha Stewart. The copper? Uh, no, it's her her brand of silver, which is kind of, oh. it's a weird, I don't know what it is. Yeah, because it's, it's like, not chrome, but it's shinier than a lot of silver. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> yes. And I just, I, basically, I just took the... Um, yeah, see, we're going to have to go up high. All right, so let me get this together. I just took the, uh, what do you call those things? Baby wipe and wiped it down. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this was an early frame. Well, those were a lot easier to trim up. That, that, co that stuff is, that's the glass beads. That's the glass beads. In the coffee mix. Is that right? Or what? No. But so it's no no coffee, but it is the brown. It is the brown. Yeah, okay. it is is. Oh, that was the one that you mixed. This is the one that I mixed. All right. That when you spread it out really fine, it turns green. That's so because weird. that's because that's what happened with the that's how it was made it was with red and. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Do, 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 yeah, it was do, that do, horrible do. green that. The, 
paste came in that we pewter sharon <laughs> there, pewter. yes that's a good one pewter pewter i don't know if it's pewter called pewter or not well here i can go yeah i'm gonna say i mean it's I, right. I i'm not nailed to the chair i can move about the cabin <laughs> peas on the move Where's your good old Martha? Usually she's on the other cart. Have you moved her around? You didn't. Um, I take that back. I lied. Oh. Oh, it's the deco. I have Martha here, but I didn't go with Martha because I didn't want her. She's too shiny. She's too, she looks too new, and I wanted something that looked kind of grody and old and tarnished. Yeah, a little bit worn silver. Yeah. Or old silver. But really, worn silver is very actually, shiny. There is some of Martha on there. She's covered up <laughs> because I didn't like her. <laughs> Nothing against you, Martha. <laughs> no, it really isn't. It's just your paint. Okay, get get back over here because you've got a. I mean, that's my thought. I've got to have at least an, enough oh, I know of a lip there. Just try to get it as far up as you possibly can. Okay. I'm doing this more by feel. <laughs> oh. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I, I don't know. What, what are you going to use to um, secure it? Happy? I'm happy. Yeah. We needed some archival tape or something. What, what are you using there? What is that? Washi. Oh. Well, are you gluing it? Ah, this is more just to hold it in place oh. while I glue it. Hmm. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think that it's archival washi. <laughs> Although it's definitely not archival. It only lasts about fifteen minutes. Archival is supposed to be there for a long time. Uh, well, this is just a temporary hold. So I think for what we're using it for, we're gonna have plenty. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure that isn't gonna be peeking out because that'll be annoying. Oh, my little piece that I tore off there a second ago. Tell you what, this washi, when you want it to stick, it doesn't. <laughs> or what? <when>, yeah. <laughs> but when you need... I, I just find it annoying all yeah, the way yeah, around. You do. Oh, you have the other frame there? Oh, yeah, here. I, I'm having a moment. I lost my little stencils this morning. <laughs> Can't put her in a tizzy. Yeah. Okay. That looks lovely. Now, that sort of bugs me because I should have maybe moved it. No, I like that. I, off I, center a bit. It doesn't matter. It's good. I'll see. But Asymmetrical is always good. Okay. You can embellish don't, it in the don't corners. Put yeah. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Shush, 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 shush. Okay. Shushy uppy. Shushy okay. Uppy. Okay, love the pewter and the creature. I know, Judy, isn't that awesome? And it all is due to your marbling. I just, you know, I started messing with it a little bit because I was just going to kind of outline and and mess around with and do some line design. But I started and then this face started showing up. And I'm going, oh... I just, I can't ignore that. I, I just have to do something with it. And so this is the whole, this is how the whole journal was born, was your artwork and uh, the marbling. Okie dokie, dokie dokie. That was a really good call, Mara. I bust up right against that and sort of sandwiches it in there. I'm, I'm hoping so. Do you think you should cut another strip for the other side to kind of... Balance it? No, I don't think that... I think that might. I don't know. Like a like a shim? Are you shim? No, I don't... I, I, I take that back because I think it needs to... It, it, that side needs to meet up flush. Okay. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I'll tell you what. Oh, happy paper. 
Mariah, our last challenge last night was micro beads, tea bags, and crackle paste. No oh, way. Man. Oh, boo. I, I'm telling you, you all, this, all the good stuff happens when we go to bed. We have all of those things. We do. Now, I don't, I'm not a big fan. The crackle paste kind of is in the same category as the washi tape. I she can't, can't get crackle. that stuff. I cannot crackle. I, she, she, I have a smear. I, there's some kind of bad juju going on there. You fuss with it. It's like making rice. Oh. You got to just, you know, get it going. Leave it alone. Don't lift the lid. Don't move your chair because I dropped the frame. Oh, no. There, and I think that's going to help hold that little corner. That's just fantastic. All righty. Look at us moving along. <laughs> if you're really enjoying this and finding inspiration in the frame building, please give this video a thumbs up. Let oh, but you didn't get to finish. Oh, well, well how those about are, next week? Those are a lot of things that like require some drying time. Yeah, some time. Because I'm telling you what, that glass bead stuff, it was still smushy. Now, I must say, last week the humidity was off the charts. I think it must have been, you know, 99.9%. Yeah. It was almost rain, just because. But um, it took a long time, and uh, I wanted to do something with it, and Mariah threatened me with bodily harm. With what? <laughs> because she said, you're saving it. You're, oh, yes. We're going to do that. Yeah, I did. I told her she better not put this thing together this week, otherwise, yes, there was going to be some... Oh, well, I wasn't going to put it together. I was just going to muck about and, you know, do some different things to the frame. Yeah. You, that's why I say I post something and no worries, it probably doesn't look the same. I could probably just keep posting <laughs> the same thing and then people would be like, oh, that's awesome. It'd be like, like for a week, I could, I could post the same thing. Be like, yeah, this is what Pete's working on. I know. I walk down the stairs sometimes and my artwork's hanging on. I gotta on. move quickly here. I got the art glitter glue and I really wanted this because it's heavier duty, but also yeah it does have a bit of a window of opportunity yeah okay well the only time i'm not doing something to something else of my artwork is when it's Ooh. under glass <laughs> I, I i should have warned you about that you want to be careful here sugar here <laughs> dear lord that thing was rough <laughs> This is a dangerous <laughs> journal. <laughs> this is this a dangerous journal. It's, it's spooky and it's mean. <laughs> Handle it with care. Oh, Jeanette's here. Jeanette. Oh, Carrie, good morning. She's good evening. Yes, uh, yes good evening to you guys. It is a little later in the afternoon. Oh, I was so happy to see you in, in Makers, and I loved your Halloween book. Jeanette's actually been in Makers for a very long time, but... We really didn't do much with makers when we first started it. No, it was mostly kind of just stuff. You would post, repost things. I would repost things and, you know, make comments <laughs> that were not appropriate in other groups and that sort of thing. I mean, she still does that. No worries. <laughs> if you're interested in that, um, if one of you guys want to drop the link to makers of mixed media art and artists in the uh, and chat there. And don't forget to answer the question and give me some interesting artists. I'm so tired of the same one. <laughs> I, I want somebody I have to look up. And there have been a couple. See, I usually grab the... I've had a couple that I had to look up. Yeah? Yeah. But they were more contemporary. All right. Now, I did not glue to the edge because I didn't want it gooping out. I can still go under the lip if you want me to, but I didn't feel that that was necessary. It's your call. But look at that. I'm pretty proud of that. I think that's pretty darn awesome. Do you need to put it under here for a while? It's probably not a terrible idea. Let's do that. This is this thing has many functions. It does. This is one of them. <laughs> so there. You just now you have to be careful. Don't be breaking my beads. I don't think you're gonna break the beads. Okay, now the frame is done. <laughs> hey everybody, the frame's done. Yeah. I know. It, well, it would have been awesome if we could have got to that last week, but we didn't. So be yeah, it. Look at I, that orange and I apologize. Halloween, Halloweeny colors. 
Are you going to your spot now? I am. And now, um, let us know in the chat if you guys want to see pages assembled or do you want to see more techniquing like what P did to some of those other frames that you saw that were already done. Let yeah, us know. I've got, I've got some blank ones I can show you and give you some little Yeah, we purposefully, pointers. yes, kind of made some up in case you guys wanted to see that again. If we Just to kind of bring it back around to what we had done last week and then, you know, what we couldn't get to. I had to put my gel plate down to clean it because it was really grody. <laughs> All right. I'm going to turn that back over here to me so you guys can. I got something. Oh, I got my cup in the way. Did you show everybody our um, tags? I did. I did, I did. Um, a little bit of both. Yes, we, t okay. She says techniquing. All right, techniquing. Oh, we had talked about that a bit with the, and maybe that's why Sharon is saying that because maybe you were talking about it, but I was gluing and concentrating about putting the, the cloth or cheesecloth inside of the frame area. Remember how we, you were talking about sandwiching it in there to make it kind of look like it was coming, fraying out from the frame. But I told her that that was going to be a bit tricky. Let's keep it simple. We can do some of those funky yeah. things to here's, pages inside. Here's um, oh, dear. Rectangle. Um, <clears throat> and you can see, I don't know, I might, because sometimes with these, it's very specific. This one <laughs> matches up. But what I, I, I told her, I said, you know, I think these are kind of cool because look, yes. you can do some kind of cool wonky stuff <laughs> here and. And you know, funky frames, funky stuff. That fun, fun, funky frame. So, you know, I, I just I think you should not always be. Do you see the amount of attempts here? Put them all out there. I, I just, I'm like, I'm gonna get this. Oh, angle this doesn't right. count the one that she actually threw. Just, I mean, it was like little pieces of. Because I, I kept trimming it down. Yeah. It's just. I, I don't know what she she probably saved it. She doesn't throw throw much away okay well those are just fun little things but um if you're going to do a frame certainly keep it a square. lot easier Makes... just keep it square i think it's <laughs> yeah the angle of the dangle is much easier yes is much okay um oh we have 333 three, three, judy hello good morning all right now you all probably wrecking i don't know maybe you don't recognize this this was the um Polynesian, what do we call that one? That stencil? That is geo, well, I, short is geopoly, but it's the geometric Polynesian. Because it kind of yeah, goes. And it, it, it works for a lot of things. I mean, you can make it look more tribal, more. Geometric or just yeah. more mark making. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's a good one. But I did this separately, the pieces. And it took me two passes just simply because. What I do recommend if you do this, where's my stencil? Because I wanted to use the big one, but the problem was the scale. Yeah. And again, and that one is. The scale is important. That one is not available, but if you want it, it can be special order. You can special order. We'll talk. Just, you know, reach out to me. Now, if you had a bigger frame, I think it would be fine. Yeah, but it's big. But it's too big. So I did this one. And you can see here. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> and loves. Uh, Geopoly, I, I think that that is actually our most popular. Like, when there's an order, it's usually the Geopoly. Just a little. Um, I, I discovered this, and you'll see it on another one that I did. And that's why I separated out. Originally, it was only available in that big set and then I just because people kept asking can I just have the geopoly and I'm like all right I guess I just need to make it available on its own so it is you may purchase that in our shop okay <laughs> here's a little suggestion don't leave a point out here because when you come back in and you're trying to fix it it's it it, it does not work so Make sure that you've tilted your stencil so that you've got a flat and a flat so that you can come back in on your next pass and line that. That was a up. really good tip. 
it was. Now, you can see what happened here is I <laughs> left out my corner. So probably what I needed to do, I really liked the angles of this. I can't remember what I did on this. But anyway, you can see. Yeah. Here's my, ah, there's how I did it. You got it matched up there? I got it matched up. Well, you need to flip. Oh, no, because. I'm just saying. Yeah. Here, You've got a straight line here. You've got a straight line here. Perfect. Okay. That's enough said about that. But that and is a really good And then you wait, let it dry and do the next. I think actually this one took three. And that's just because I wanted to use the smaller scale uh, stencil. All right. I'm done with that. Now I just want to make sure I'm not covering up this important thing I've got going <laughs> over here. <laughs> it's important because she deemed it so. All right. So, Lisa, I... Really appreciate all of these little. Oh, we've that had you fun. Said. I I've just had such a good time messing with these, but uh, I do want to show you this technique because it's something that um, I saw someone do a long time ago, and I wish I could remember who it was. I'm terrible with that, and I apologize. You know, if you know who did it, the making the, the making the paint squishy so that when you pull it up, it was Robin McClendon. You get, oh. Because I actually watched that video with you because I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Because she was using the sprays. And actually, she used. Um, that's right. Pa uh, Patsy. Pa uh, Patsy Polly. The. Uh, Patty Polly. The Patty. stained spray stuff. I, she, she has her own special mix. and. Yeah, and it, it does it more consistently. I know you guys know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that somebody knows. You can you can go ahead and put that in there. Yes, we do ship to the U the UK, but we also have an option that um, Carrie, she's here in the chat. Um, so just reach out to us, uh, either over on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you wherever you want to, private message us or in the group. If you aren't part of makers of the, um, sorry, Facebook makers of mixed media art and artists group, um, you can also reach out to us there. But Carrie, being in the UK, there are certain people we will, um, you know, if we kind of know you and feel comfortable about doing the shipping thing, because it, it gets a little tricky. Anyway, reach out to us. We can work it out with the UK thing, or I will ship, and hopefully I get the address right. I had a little problem this week. I was so glad that wasn't me, because that's, <laughs> I, I, God, that's such a I switch digits around I, all I, the time. I, and I, and I hate saying this, but, like, seriously, my, like, work work has been insane lately. And so my PM work has suffered for it. Yes, and I've been <laughs> suffering, too, because... She's been a little grumpy this week. Because she wasn't up here as my consultant and my Helper bouncer and, offer of ideas. So she gets... She, she kind of just stews just, over here and... and all I, <laughs> so I start making messes and doing stuff that, you know, I'm like... <laughs> Leaving a two-year-old, you shouldn't she really do it because kind it of can turn into a real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, you guys. All right. Yes. Yeah, so there's some options Sugar there. Fast. there Sugar yeah. Fast. There's our Instagram. You can always message me there, and then yes, the makers of mixed media art and artist group. So all right, the frames are are awesome. I'm gonna let P talk more and me talk less. But oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, these are not quite finished yet, but I didn't want to lose the red because. I want some red to be in here. I, I want to use some of, I've uh, stenciled on Lisa's paper, her red paper, and I really want to, look at that little booger. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little dander flake from one of our stencils. new stencils. Oh, we got to bust out with those. Yeah. But this has about how many layers? Because you did the some layers last week and then you put another couple on well, there. Well, I approached them, you know, very tentatively and, and I wanted to err to the side of caution because I wanted some of the details to show through, uh, especially on these two because I thought they were kind of cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's three different passes on this and I, I, I will show you in a minute how to do this using your gel plate even though all of this doesn't fit on your gel plate, you can do it so it does fit. And, and trust me, it took a little figuring out. I'm, I'm very proud of it, and I'm, I'm happy to share that. Okay, put these back in here, so if I do want to do that, I can find them. All right, here's the, here's the five-pounder. 
<laughs> the beads add some serious weight. <laughs> they add some serious weight. Now this is one of the con this was one of the contenders for the cover, but um, I don't know. I just thought the warmer colors worked better. And we had some discussion regarding because we love the techniques that both Judy and Lisa and like especially like the ones that Lisa had done for the candle. She has that video. I don't know if she wants to pop that in there, but certainly um, if you want to pop your video into the chat, Lisa, that's totally cool because that was awesome. Just using the alcohol ink markers. Yeah. Now, and coloring it. That that's way too fiddly for me. Yeah. I, I, I can't do that. I've got to have so what I came up with and I kinda <laughs> talked I can't remember if I talked to Judy or Lisa about this. Using the impo it's probably Judy because she's our impasto queen. <laughs> Using the impasto with the alcohol ink because they're both transparent. Yeah. So then you could kind of use I could use my small brayer to get those different kind of striations. I don't want them to be all lined up and everything. And get that same effect on this. But that's my intention for this. Are you going to do that today? I, I don't know. Do you guys want to see that? Uh, well, we don't have the alcohol inks. And I think that we probably need to do a little testing and mixing on that. I think that would be a great one that we mess with during the week. And then we'll and post our results Yeah, And I need to makers. do some more. Um, I'll tell you what. I, I used up a lot of my, my paste. And she I bought more. I, I'm down to half. But you know, this oh, the jar beads. was full. Yeah, she's been beaten up. <laughs> I'm on my second batch because it uses a lot to scrape it through there. Okay. Highly recommend Lisa's video. That that was just spot on. It's it's just she explained it so well. It just I love that video. Th those are video goals. <laughs> If we could I, only be so precise if, with the if, way we If I ever start making videos, I want them to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I did... I love this one. ...put this one together and taped it together. I just took it apart for them. But this is the giant, and I don't know if Mariah... It, it made my life a lot easier. <laughs> I'll get this. Okay, so this would know. also be a very special request. Because look at how massive that thing is. But I used to use this on my 12 inch before, you know, I, before it got, they got other lives. And we just didn't really, after that, it was kind of like, you know, we really don't need that. And storing really big stencils oh, is tricky. Yeah, I don't, I don't even have, I, that, I just decided, that's one of the reasons I got rid of this. Plus I never used it and it was too big and it doesn't even fit on this thing. That was part of my problem, too, is I didn't have a surface mm -hmm. to put it on. Okay, this is... Okay, so that is... Now, this one had was done in two parts, and I'll show you why. Are you going to show them that stencil? Okay. Okay, this is this is the big, massive... I don't know, can you see? Yes, I think. Somehow or other, the Cricut decided that we didn't want this to be done. No, what happens is it gets gummed up. Like, one of those little things will come out, and it gets stuck on the blade and then it doesn't cut. And if I'm not standing there monitoring it, which I thought, I, I mean, seriously, this thing took hours. I bet two hours to cut all of this because it's really thick. Yeah, this 12 super. by 12 Yupo is like almost twice as thick as the regular Yupo. But what I absolutely love about it is look at the loft. Look at that loft. <laughs> Got a few little ones. I, I tried to get And I should have chose a different stencil. Yeah. Because this one just takes forever. But what I love about this is the scale. And even though this isn't spot on, you know, like perfectly lined up and going the I, I don't think it's really gonna matter. By the time I get through, you know, running a couple of techniques over that, I don't think that that's gonna be an issue. Alright, and you're gonna technique that one. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Going to technique that one. Okay. Here are the extras that we have, which I'm going to use just gel plating. Yeah, and look at, so she didn't realize that there's like these little, it was yeah, some paper pack. This is why I'm not allowed to cut. <laughs> I'm going, Roy, right, did you know there's this little weird thing on the Bar end code. of the paper? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I could have cut it off because I lost that part anyway. 
when I was doing my pages, I will. But we're going to technique those just with the gel brush. Now, like I said, if you guys want any of those big ones, you just reach out to me. We'll talk. We'll figure it out. Because um, so, I am now shipping 9 by 12 envelopes, and they seem to be shipping okay. Dolls. So. Uh, more near, you're not going to see that side, but anyway. This is your cool technique that you were kind of talking about too, right? Yeah, this is it. Now, the reason I brought this back out is because I I think it needs just a little bit more oomph. Oomph. It does. Like, it's, it's a great couple first layers. It, it really is. And, you know, when you do these and you want to really emphasize your artwork, you don't want your frame to be, you know, neon. Well, now what would be great like if you have an awesome frame then just frame something like you know black or white or just a yeah. solid color that would be pretty cool we should do that emphasize yeah absolutely <laughs> the, the frame is the art the frame is the art <laughs> and there are artists who do that I, i'm just all right now this one oh, this i did i love this stencil so much taped together and i reason i recommend that is you don't have to deal with the goopy stuff in the corners you can go ahead and do corners oh uh, robin says yeah the imperfection of the the one was great it's just it would have been really nice to have a full 12 inch stencil that was like that could cover these crazy squares and and be able to maneuver it the way you want because if you have that huge missing spot then it was really causing some yeah. and some you issues. can see there there's a bit of a gap here <laughs> sure it's this it's a it, it's it's spooky, so that barcode may be interesting. <laughs> it's like, where's that? Yeah. Well, I, hopefully I'll be able to obliterate that. I have on the on the pages that I did. But anyway, this is. I thought this was lovely. I know that it's not very gothic, but I think in the way that I am going to do things to it, it's going to become a little more gothic. Yes. I, I'm just, I am so impressed with how the swirly stencil turned out on that frame. Because I knew it was going to be one of those things where it went really well or like it was going to not fit properly and do some funky things. So, well done, Pete. Okay. Now, here, here's what, see this corner here? I will always be able to see that. I, I don't know that that would be evident to everyone, but I know it's there. And you can see this little overlap here and here and here. This is why it's really nice. We have a stencil that fits over the entire thing. But, that, yeah, being what it's it is. It's funny. It has almost an optical illusion, especially in the in the camera frame. Because it, it sort of makes it look like it's getting kind of pushed in. Your oh. eye sort of goes, Whoa, even though it is a square. Yeah. Really, well, I mean, there pretty much. There, it's a square. <laughs> Taped together. Okay. So, those are all of the frames, and I guess we'll just get, get a, just go. Um, what do we want to start? Okay, so, it, uh, let's see, you were making me want to get a bunch of cheap mats. Oh, you know what? You can, like, and, and I told P, to, P about that, that, like, we have all these 5 by 7s but that wasn't going to fit our project. She's like, well, you know, but yes, that would, we did talk about the, the if you can find those cheapo mats, because again, you're going to be stenciling over it. I would say the only thing you want to watch out for is I don't know how well they're going to handle some of the heavier media, like with warping and soaking it up. Yeah. Um, you might want to gesso them before mm. you ever start doing anything else. Because otherwise because, they'll get wonky. Because you know they're they're just they're mat board is what they are. Yeah. Which, I mean this is the black is mixed media paper. Oh, by the way, and I put a link in the description because this stuff is on sale right now. I, well, I don't know if it's really on sale. I I feel like somebody messed up the pricing because it's six dollars and twenty two cents for the the pad the nine by twelve pad of the black mixed media so i would say take advantage of that if you can it's really weird because all the other sizes well the size below it is a little bit cheaper and then the one the next one up is it goes to like 15 dollars. so it's kind of crazy there you go yeah <laughs> okay i'm going to start with the gel pad because um i think if we get we can um uh, I don't really want to put the glass beads on my gel plate 
because I think we might have a little bit of a, I, 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 I'm worried that it'll mark it up. Yeah. Because it's, it's kind of tough. But now this is just regular old, uh, whatchamacallit, light and fluffy. Okay, so I need to get out my pages because I want to kind of talk about the ones that are done and talk about what my, my ideas are. Okay, here's some, some of the techniques that I, I did. And the reason I have this out is because this is going to become part of the journal. We, I'm not sure exactly how we're going, but we'll probably end up having to hinge this very much like what Mariah did with the cover. I, I don't know. These are just going to be, uh, I'm a little concerned about the chomper biting the, into this. The chomper. The. Yes. Hole maker. Okay. All right. So I think this is just, this was just regular old. You can see that's what color it was. Uh, what do you call that paper? Scrapper looking paper. Mm -hmm. That was. Got on sale. I mean, it was so old that it had started. You know how paper starts turning col colors on the edges and get getting funny looking? Okay. So these are some of the techniques. Oh, sorry. And the, the mixed media black, the black mixed media paper is on Amazon and I like I said there's a link in the description area in this description box because I did add it there because I knew I was going to talk about it today because that's what we made all of the frames out of and it's holding up really nicely it's not as heavy as the chipboard but it is quite nice don't you think P? oh absolutely okay I mean it had totally minimal warpage now, I think this is really, this is, okay, so what I'm going for here, we have, Mariah made little stencils out from some little silly drawings that I made, and we're going to feature those inside of frames, and then on the reverse side, there's going to be information about, uh, okay, if we're going to do Frankenstein, we've got to talk about Shelley. Mary Wollstonecraft. I thought it was Mary Shelley. Shelley. Yeah. yeah. Mary her, Shelley. She was married to uh, Byron. Byron, you know. Byron. You know, the poet. So, she was his wife. But, of course, that's a very famous novel because it's, it's um, well, number one, there weren't that many women writing, but it's a gothic novel. Okay, so that's what I'm, I, I'm thinking about as I'm texturing and putting color to these frames is what this already looks like and I want to put that back because dear God I, I spent so much time it. creating her she's like do you have folders and I, and I went I forgot that I brought them all up here for her before look at that paper isn't that wonderful how did you do that that's some of that technique that well, you got to get to that today if we can I, please I, let's I, I, will. I will I will I will I will all right will. all right shut up and let's get with it all right so, you saw those. I, I'm going with more opaque, but here's what I've been doing. I've been mixing the opaque with some of the transparent to get like a semi-transparent. And remember this stuff that I was talking to you about? <laughs> that was just she, she ranted about. <laughs> ranted about? Well, it's so dry and so chalky that it dries in like, Three and a half seconds on your plate, and it just, you know it'd be hilarious is if they started putting like dry, like you know, in certain like climates wines. or whatever, kind of like how plants have things, like if certain climates, like what the dry, <laughs> the yeah. average dry time. <laughs> but I have figured out this here is my newest mix. I went with impasto rather than um, the gloss the gel gloss this stuff and the impasto works better and I mean come on folks it's cheap <laughs> come what's, on folks what's, what's not to <laughs> like about that all right now that other yes that th this is kind of the Robin McClendon technique with the sprays when she gets to that part but yes the, the I, little swirly this. bits yes that was we we learned that from Robin McClendon and I don't know, I just never did really, oh, here we go. Oh, I'm using Mariah's blues. 
Well, some of those are mystery blues. Like, just because it says that on the spray bottle doesn't mean that that's what it is. Are you going Mr. Huey's on there? Yeah. See, that's the that's the navy that we love and don't have much of. And... Okay, that's really blue. But I don't think it's going to... I, 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 I like it. I kind of like it. Okay, you start at the bottom. And you press in. And you just keep twisting and moving up. And what's going to happen is you're going to get texture. Look at you. And you're going to get. Oh, oh, got a little wiggle. Okay. Mm, you want to have plenty of. <laughs> you want to make your plate very juicy. This is not when you're going for that, you know, brayer off your stuff kind of stuff. This is not, not the time for that. Because of the texture paste. Yes. Up. Oh. No worries. And they're chuckling because you're using sprays. <laughs> oh, listen. I, I'm, yeah, I know. That was. I'm going to head and doing this over here just because I want that. I want to be able to pull this. That looks awesome. Doesn't that look I'm very awesome? excited about this. It's very blue, but um, also. Oh, very. orange will make it brown. Yes. You know, I just love it when you can do something and you have... Oh, thanks, Becky. Becky, when did you sneak in? Hello, Becky. <laughs> Hi, Becky. <laughs> See, there's some of that. Tell you what, just keeps on giving. <laughs> Ooh. Looky there. Now, isn't that just absolutely amazing? It looks like you did three pulls. Yeah. And then plus you've got this awesome frame look. You can I'm just go like that. that. But I think it still needs more. <laughs> Voila. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it, it does. And the really amazing part of that is most of it came off. I didn't leave large portions out there to make <laughs> maps. Sorry, Fran, if you're with us today. Okay, I'm going to put that over there because I think really that has total potential. Yeah, I like that a lot. I, I, I like that a lot, too. All right, and I'm putting this aside because I, I don't know what to do to, else to do to it right now, but I will think about it. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> on. Moving on. Oh, <laughs> the ladies are buying the pads. Thanks, guys. Cause that's what the, is it? The, they're, they're using the... the I hope you, you guys used the affiliate link there in the description, but um, the mixed media pads. I'm telling you, $6.22, how can you not? It's great paper. It is great paper. We've now, loved I'm it. Try to get rid of this because I you got I really, some blue edges. I want to start with something else here. It seems like your brayer's a little extra squeaky today, or I'm just a little extra sensitive. I don't really know. But hey, this is looking really good. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, let's let's you try gonna spray this. it. There you well, go. Of course I am. Okay. I don't want it to be blue anymore. Okay. I'm so gonna... what spray was that? That was the. I don't know. I, I think it was the Seth after. Yeah. Is that honey or the tea? Tea or honey? All right. Now the reason I do like working with complementary colors is because you're not you're always going to be able to get a better dirt. Dirt. I'm all better dirt. Okay, we're just going to do the same thing. Now, you know, this is a little bit thinner frame. Yeah, I, sh I guess maybe I should have made more of those two inch ones. See, that's an inch and a half. And then, see, I was trying to work out the, the, the reason that there was the one two incher is I was still working out the rectangle situation. Oop. It's just, that still bothers me. Look how cool oh. that is looking. I love it. I love it. But we've got to make the rest of our pattern here because we've got to pull this print. Oh, 
Now I just keep turning it. <laughs> Sharon so loves the different shades of dirt. <laughs> I know. Isn't that isn't that the truth? Okay, now look what's happened here. But, See how it's picking up some of that kind of greenish, goldish. But then I love the little areas where no. it doesn't get down in there, and then you have so the black's still showing through. It's just it's very classy looking. This drives me crazy when this happens. I wanted to use this as a, but oh well. Oh, on one of your prints. Uh, on one of my pages. Please yeah. remind me to find my pages so that I can. Well, be do you want painting. me to grab it? Well, I, I don't do know that. where they are over here in this thing. I've got it labeled, but obviously. I'll be right back. <laughs> and it's all your fault, Sharon and Marianne, <laughs> that I'm dis uh, disorganized. Pages done. Do you want pages done or pages? No, the pages done are already done. Okay. Here, neat. You put it behind this big flat. Oh, okay. There you go. But I'm moving But look to the front. at this. How Ooh. wonderful this is. Even if you can kind of see the lines, it sort of creates enough of a pattern that is, I don't know. I like it. And then you've got this lovely textured variety of a frame that you've got going on here. Now what I'm probably going to do is hand this off to Mariah at, and let her do her spray magic or here's an option using the fine tech watercolors because oh. we haven't done any experiments. Before. Okay, I'll do that over here and I'll go in the little screen um cuz it's not well, you need to wait just a minute. It's oh, okay. still it's it's just wet. Don't don't get okay. your panties in a wad there. Um okay. <laughs> hey, good gel prints. Good gel prints. Oh, I'm so I, I will hand that to you. Yes, yeah, she did have so much moo 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 that night. She had a bunch of fun. Yes. What, 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 what? Mary answered that, yeah, she's like, but you had a good time. That's oh what my I, gosh, yes, I did have a good time. And I was, I was, I told Mariah, I said, don't even tell them I'm going to be a part of that because I am going to be over here organizing and getting mm -hmm. all my stuff in proper order here. She said, okay. And then I got it just looks so cool, I wanted to do it. <laughs> and I don't, this is, this, you know, this admin work is not my métier anyway. You know, my idea of filing is gather box. it all and put it in a box. It's going to bag it and tag it. And <laughs> you're lucky if I've got a label on the box. <laughs> I think she only started doing that because I requested at least, you know, something to be written on the outside. So if I'm going through things that I'm like, I have a clue. Okay, I really like that blue stuff that we had going on there. And I don't know, we've got this Lindy stuff here. Oh, I bet this is Mariah's favorite color. She's probably having a cow over there that I'm using all of her good stuff. Oh. No. Although that is like, yeah. I really like this honey. And I would say that the the, the stains are similar to that patty. I am so sorry that I don't remember the name. And I and she, I don't know if you guys let me know in the chat or not, but let me know it again and I'll read it. But um, I believe it's the Patty Pocket Stains or something like that. But that's what Robin McClure... Terry, Terry. No, it's Patty. It's Patty is the name. Patty. But I can't remember if it's like Patty Pockets and it's Stains or something like that. But I think that it is similar Terry. to like how the yeah. Seth Acker okay. Stains work. Yeah. See what's happening out there? Like that. I think that's like totally totally cool. I don't know that it's really something that I want for this. Oh, was that Maribut? No, the um, the teal color that my latest one, I really do kind of have a, I'm a bit obsessed about. But once again, Mr. Huey's was my favorite and I have no more of Seafoam. It was seriously my most favorite because it was just the right amount of everything. Second favorite would be the Lindy's, which is the T-Bird Turquoise. So, Mr. Huey's Seafoam is the bomb diggity of all teals, <laughs> but not available, you know, in anywhere that I can find. So, Lindy's T-Bird, awesome. 
then I have some other crazy mixes that we were trying to, you know, make the right mix. Okay, now do you see what I did? I just worked my way up the page because it this is too big. Now I did have this on there already, but I'm going to get this pull this last little piece over here and because Ooh. And I just kind of go ahead and try to mop up the rest of it. It's, you know, yeah, and I will add that I will add the papers because I don't I might have added that black mixed media paper to the main product list, but I will do that this week too um, over there on the website. But it is in the description of, of the video. Help us out with those affiliate links. Just kind of I mean, I still have lots of wet stuff out there. I like that too. I like it too, but I'm going to give it a bit know. of a... I'm not going to go with navy. I'm not going to quite. No. Na navy's a... And this has got a bit of... Yeah, shiny. now the, the, the Lindy's, the flat Fabio ones, you really do need to shake them very, very well. Once, because, see, they come with the powder, so you mix them up if you aren't familiar with them. Um, but I love them because of the lightness of their colors, even when they're the more opaque, the flats. Um... They're not really opaque, but they are more so than the others. But I like them. Now, I really probably that was looking better before I started doing all that. <laughs> oh, well. You know when that happens? And this is cool because sometimes it soaks clear through mm -hmm. the paper. I really needed to add a little bit more of my. Yeah, the honey is nice. Anne likes it more than the the tea. The tea's a little dark. And it's too red. Well, that's very pretty. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just it's interesting, and it would have been, but not on this paper. You got to remember, we're going with gray paper. We need a bit of... It, it adds a certain level of extra difficulty to it when, when you have the, like, the gray paper. Yeah. When you're using... All right, now I have, still have a little bit of gunk on my yeah. roller there, which that's going to be... Oh... Jeanette says she just tried the marab marabou stuff, and since it's alcohol ink, it doesn't mix with the colors. So you can paint it on top and just turns things holographic. Ew. Ew. Now, we, I, I know people do use the alcohol inks on their gel plate, but P's always been a little hesitant. But I, I'm going to do it with the impasto. I promise you guys. All right, now I need some texture here and I don't have time to do. <laughs> What's funny is it's hard for me sometimes to tell now that we have the larger version. So I have the bigger 5x7 of the Artie Squiggles and it's very similar to how she just stamped on to do that too. So like if you had an impression plate of that, it would work similarly. Yeah. My problem with most of the impression plates that we have right now, they're made for the five by seven. Mm -hmm. So it creates a bit of a problem. Lucky Look at that thing. wonderfulness. I even kind of like the little crisscrossy square business. I think it's really wonderful. Okay, now we're here. We've got this lovely stuff on, and what I would normally do is I would turn around and turn on my computer and mess around on my computer for a while while this drives. But we don't have that luxury, and I don't really care anyway, and you don't care what it looks like. Okay, let's try some. Ooh, Jeanette, we're excited about that. She has, She's going to share it, um, what, what she made, and paint it over it. Oh, okay. Is she doing it right now? Well, no. I mean, she's going to share it in, in Makers, I think, after this. or 
That is, she's going for the yellow. I'm going for it. <laughs> and I, you, if you just whisper touch your thing, you can get away with this sometimes. Whisper touch. Whisper touch. Whisper touch. Boy, that is pretty electric, isn't it? I was watching, um, so Sonia, who's also in our Maker's Creative Collab for the Spooky Scrolls, but um, she has a huge brayer. I was like, yeah, that's going to get her done. I think you need a bigger brayer when you're doing that one. Well, we didn't like that particular brand of yellow. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. I don't. <laughs> It'll be all right. See, look at that. That's a good one. If you don't like this layer, you just next <laughs> go to the next. Ooh. That looks pretty I cool. I was hoping it would pick up some of that stuff underneath. You never know. I mean, it's, it's some people this know. This gel plate is a fickle mistress. <laughs> Sometimes she does what you want her to. Yeah, thank you. I was going to use some other yeah. phraseology there, but uh huh. I jumped in on that one. It's a piece of jelly whisperer. I don't know. Some, <laughs> sometimes she yells at it. <laughs> Smacks it about. <laughs> I do. We have a very... <laughs> oh, oh, no! no! What is that? And why is it there? Okay. That was scary. Oh, it's, you know what this is from? This is from last night. When you trimmed your mask. I know, Felicia, she thought the same thing with Sonya's thing. She's like, man, that is a big brayer. <laughs> That's pretty. I like that. I do have a bigger brayer up here, but um, I, I don't necessarily think it, it's it's not necessarily like some other Bigger things. isn't better, yeah, always. Not always. <laughs> and the, the reason it is is because it's... Um, if you, you're you're brayering on, it's not so much what you're covering. It's you've got to. It doesn't matter. You're going to have to do it anyway. You're right. Cross hatch and whatnot, and evenly spreading is what you're trying to evenly achieve. Evenly spreading. Thank you no. so much. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna pull some stuff off of here. Hopefully with a little patterning. I don't know. This is my Sharon name. says she likes the. the you know she has. I love how we have less control over the gel plate outcome. Yes, um, it's it's the mystery, and I think that's why it's kind of slightly addicting and whatnot because it's all right. I should it's have, never really the same. Should have let that dry, that layer. Y'all understand what I'm talking about, <laughs> but we're not going to. We're not going to. We're going to grab a new little. Whatever. Here, let's do some access from Texas. Which turns out looking like um, mer mermaid scales, too. <laughs> okay, that'll be a good one for this side. Hey, that could be like your creature from the, the, the lagoon. Oh, it could. That would be good. That's very scaly. Ooh. Oh, cool. Jeanette did post in the group. Thank you. We have light changing. Yeah, we've got clouds coming mm -hmm. in. Ooh. I do like this crisscrossy business. First, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about that, but I'm, I'm kind of liking the, you know. Well, you've got to figure we're going to probably have something in the middle anyway. You're just going to need True the outsides. That. True that, P. And isn't that cool? And plus, you still got some good stuff on the plate here. So we can, you know, come in with some purple it out. Okay. Now, where, where are we at with things? So we have... Oh, yeah. I probably she, need... she could jump away all afternoon if I don't yeah. stop her. So, we could continue on with this if you guys want. I have absolutely no problem with that. And we can just um, 
she can work on her pages here or we could assemble some pages um, while she's while he's working on that I could flip over into the screen now that this thing's dry and show a little bit of that highlighting with how um, P's done this on a lot of things you'll see like we just use the sorry the fine tech watercolors to highlight the certain areas oh, of yeah, the texture on my, on my all my little cards and yes in fact I even did that one during what a couple weeks ago during the live I did a little bit of that what are, what are your thoughts with this one where is it going and what colors do you want to use that would be the question um yeah it is a good question because that is going to be a frame for one of the uh, one of the creatures. Okay. Well, do you know which creature? Cause see, I mean, I my brain. That's, that's going to be a, an issue. Yes. Cause see, like I think you know, obviously Frankenstein should have some greens and things on his page. Well, I don't. I feel like that we need the, that page because of the swirly do's and the it's a bit more feminine yeah I feel that so this could be the cat we haven't even shown them that the the little characters we haven't well when you're done with that okay, I, I will, hole there yeah. so we did more characters I don't know if I'm gonna sell them in a set or not but I'm also thinking about turning them into something digital and then just maybe having it available in the group for you guys I don't really know because I don't know if you like them. I mean, we think they're cute, but it's kind of cutesy for yeah, us. They're, they're a little bit cutesy. A little bit cutesy. All right. <laughs> I, I can, I can, you know, I can do something with this later. You probably need to let that dry and it will be wonderful or do something yeah, like this. Yeah, look at that. It's mm -hmm. got some cool stuff on it. Look at it. See, see, this is why, see the spray everywhere, the purple everywhere. Yeah. I'm not very good at <laughs> Directional spray. Yes, Mariah, I mean, she's like, oh, hello, Isabel. I um, I got your stuff ready for you. I'm sending a lot of things out on Monday. Sharon, some stuff coming her way. Oh, Heather D. Hello, hello. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. Should okay. I, I be in the big screen at this point? Maybe. I, I Maybe. think so. Yeah, okay. I, I'm gonna kind of clean up a bit here. All right. Well, I'll just go to. And we can talk about to there. That bugs me. <laughs> um. There we go. All right. I don't need to have you in the screen. Or do you? Are you going to be showing something over there? No. Here in a second. Uh, okay. I'm just cleaning. She's cleaning. There you go. All right. So I can start out with some neutral colors to highlight, and then that way we're not really stuck with like a blue or a green or a whatever. Yeah, what do you and, think? Or reds? You want me to do reds? Uh, yeah. No. I want you to do that one blue okay. that is really um... This one? Or this one? I knew you were thinking about one and the, the green. Th the green, 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 green on the other end. Yeah, that. that okay. One. That's the one. And use lots of water. Okay, and then you want it just over the okay, top yeah. of the texture. And you, we need to, I'll, I'll give you some water because you don't need to be saturating that with, um. My little sprayer? Your little sprayer. She doesn't like that technique. I don't know so why. So you need to get your, 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 your paint soupy. Soupy. Soupy doopy. Okay. Oh, good. I can be thinking about what I'm going to do next over here. You're supposed to be, you know, because I, I got to talk and paint and look at the... Oh, I guess whoa. I could come over there and do that. Here, let me that close awesome. my drawer so I can get out. Because I've still got some frames to do, right? I know. Oh! She needed to walk it around for It was time to move around. I'm going to start in the corner. <laughs> Is that too too much? Oh, you're just being way too careful. Oh, you want like just the go whole, over the whole thing, yeah, like this. Yeah, and then it, that scares it, me. 
if you want to, you don't like that, you just kind of rub oh, some of that then, out with the... Yeah, you do this. With the wipey thing. Yeah. So this is that color wash business that she kind of talks about. But see, yeah. And I thought about doing that, you know, with this frame. But I really like it. I like it plain because it emphasizes the artwork. And that's why I'm having you do that. And you, that's not the right brush. Let me get your brush. <laughs> She's giving me. <laughs> I, I, I washed all the brushes up and I'm sorry. Yeah, I just there's. Went ahead and put, I was in a hurry and I just shoved them back into my brushes here. Now, see what I want to do, <laughs> because, you know, it's me. I'm going to. Don't tell her what I'm doing. What? Nothing. Here. Oh yeah, that's that's a wee that's bit better. That's the worker in there brush. Yeah. It's stiff and not worth that darn for other painting for sure. Okay. Oh yeah. Much better. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna we talked about this. I I know. Well, why don't you just queue up some pages and things over there? Cause I'm kind of looking at chat like this. I thought I was going to have to do more detail work that I was going to pay more attention to. <laughs> I, I can read the chat and paint, too. <laughs> I ain't going to handle this in life. <laughs> well, I'll bring back the gel plate. <laughs> and I could... Well, which pages are you... Oh, do you want me to talk about my pages that I've already made? Yes. That, those. That's what you're yes, talking about. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. It's like she wants to keep it all a huge secret, but... You know. No, I just, you know, uh, it really, I'm still working on some of them. Well, I think people like that, though. Because then when they see it all done, they'll have a better idea of, like, sort of how we get there. <laughs> sometimes we don't even know, but. Well, and sometimes I change directions within the. Yes, yeah, she does. So, you know, we back paddle and get out on the bank and, you know. Back <laughs> get back out take, on the bank. Take, and... take, take a little tour. Okay, I have these little bitty watercolor things that I did for it. Um, I forgot all about getting them out. Here, I'm going to put you on the bigger screen because, like, you get what I'm doing at this point. But, hold on, let me... Doop, doop, there we go. I can make that ever so slightly larger. That way you guys can kind of see it. This is when we were doing the, the water-soluble pencils. Fiber-Castell, Derwent, and Sargent. And, you know, this is really, you can see, because I use similar colors on all of them. And you can see a big, big difference. The Dwent are the, you know, they're, they're really top of the line. I, I highly recommend those. I use them. I've started using them a lot. Okay, so this is a brayer off. You can see it brayered off on both sides. And this face appeared. Can Mariah, can you see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I put you in the big screen, so oh, okay. they should be able to see plenty. So, this face appeared, and I just thought, okay, that's very cool. I'm going to go ahead and define, you know, around the eyes, the nose, and I used colored pencils to do that. Just plain. Yeah. Prismacolor. Okay, Lisa, I used some of your papers here. Oh, look at you. I didn't, this is new. I haven't even seen this. Well, this is what happens when you don't come and visit. <laughs> when I'm working. When you're working. And here's another one of those. Isn't this a cool background? Look at that. So you did that very similarly to what we were just showing mm -hmm. on the gel, or you were showing. Yeah, and this gel. is just collaging. This is just some pieces of paper that I found here and there. And it's, you know, it's my sacred feminine and all that good stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Art has meaning. <laughs> and here's, <laughs> I just thought this was so great. Look at this. Can you see the sort of <laughs> image there? That was like totally not planned. Just, and I really totally could have planned. Very excited this, about this. Put my devil up a little further so he fit within the frame there. But, you know, it's kind of like everything yeah. I do. 
And this is one of the new stencils that Mariah has. It's the, the wonky web. Yes. See that little spider out there? I tell you what, this is wonderful. I don't know if... Oh, you get to see some of them here. The little characters? No, the web... What I've used it for. I want you to show the characters. Okay, well I will admit. Okay. Will admit. Okay, can you see? Here's the eyes. Oh, they said the... Um, Isabella says the face looks cool. And, um, ooh, spooky. And looks Egyptian. That might have been on that Oh, one. this one. Yeah, a little yeah, bit, maybe. because you sort of have a cartouche here. And, yeah, I should put some of that asemic writing up there. Oh, thank you. That was a good idea. But you can see that from this print that I pulled in the background there. And then I want to put this on the opposing page so that when you open them up they're across from each other because I think that they look like they're well they are they're two prints that were pulled very close together this is some stuff that um, I, I think I did this it says province sky with yellow unders <laughs> with yellow unders mm-hmm I don't really know what that means, but I thought it was really cool. But <laughs> she's leaving herself notes that she's like, hmm. Yeah, what does that mean? Where did that come? It's a late night note. <laughs> yeah, okay, here you can see the stencil again. And then this over here on this side is a rub off from Puzzle. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see? Oh. But I, I'm going to stencil some more stuff on here so, and maybe even do some drawing. The pink one here. Oh, yeah, show the. But here, look at this one. Okay, this is the. Can you see it? And then I went over it with. Um, I'm not sure what. Let me see. Well, it looks kind of like your Liquitex iridescent. Could be. I mean, that's kind of how it's acting there. It's, it's been a while since I. It's maps. Been. Leslie says maps. <laughs> Look at this, and this is the iridescent. And Mary, Mary. But that all started out as the catch paper. A lot of you guys yeah, have you seen. saw this. This was the flop off from. A while back. Geopoly. The big one. The big one. This is this background was done with a puzzle. Then of course the little X's, and this is the small stencil from the X's from Texas yeah I, I, I tell you what if you're gonna get a stencil that's a good one to get all the sizes of here I'm gonna hand that over to you I'm gonna put back onto my face unless you want. oh my goodness that's wonderful because you, you have better lighting over there to show the around and That's lovely. I I just, I, I'm very, very much in love with that. I use three different colors, just to let you know. Oh, good. Yes. All right. Well, you're doing such a good job. Why don't you do this one, too? Good jobbers. Good jobbers. <laughs> good jobbers. You can work on that. I, I really, you know, I'm probably going to come back in and hit certain areas with a, a darker. Yes. So that I get more. On top of the texture. Yes. That would be the next thing to do. But she's, just, she likes she likes doing that little fiddly. That's the fiddly work she will do. That's the kind of fiddly work that I like to do. But amazing. just And you guys saw that was super quick, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> and look at that. Oh, this would this is kind of nice. Look at this. Ooh. Now, I did give this to Mariah, but I'm yes, like, it just, is mine. I think I just took it back. <sighs> look at how cool that looks. It's not especially Halloweeny. No. So I was gonna. This is, this is sometimes what happens on. This. I was gonna cut that one up and put it in my journal that I'm still working on. That is now a two volume situation. Well, I guess I'll just have to go through mine. I see that looks better anyway. Well, that looks more Halloweeny. She's just saying that because she really wants this piece. <laughs> That's my piece. You gave this, it to this me. This is really it, it's heavy. <laughs> It, it, it's a good you know really that that does look pretty good I like that 
Now I might come in and do. I think you if need. If I move this over a little bit, I can do some more. Um, and I really want you to turn it the other uh, 180. The, the artwork, not the frame. 180. All the way around. That's 360. Well, the flip it is 180. Oh. All the way back around would be. <laughs> now, see, that's kind of, I might be able to get two out of this. See, I like that better. Because I like the leaves kind of hanging down and swooping in. Personally. Well, I'll take it into consideration. Mm hmm She'll do whatever she wants. To. That's pretty. That is kind of nice. Okay, well, I don't want to put that away right now. I want to... All right, am I going to continue on over here with You're going to continue things. on, and I'm going We've to... We've got about uh, 35 minutes. I want... Did you show the other characters? I haven't. Have that's you... That's what I was going to do. Yeah, that's what she was going to do. That's what I was going to do. And then, yeah. um, we also have... Do you have well, the other big... I wanted big... to show some of the things that I did with Lisa's stuff, too. Okay, well, have at it, lady. You're on the big screen. All right, I'm just well, going to flip gonna... mine back over to top side of... What I would really like for you to do is brown that out with some orange. Ooh, I can do that. I would like that. Let's do that. Ooh, my little eyes fell out here. <laughs> and I had the original drawings over here somewhere, but I put, I don't know what happened to them. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I had them. They, um, they yeah, that's, were, on, that's on you. They were present. I'm gonna, oh, and I wanted to show the see-through things. Oh, yeah. Well, I got the one that we were talking about with the rectangle business. Oh, yeah, you've got <sighs> it. Yeah. Okay. I got it over here. So I'll get this done, and then we can do that rectangle business. And Look at these little guys. The cutest <laughs> little things. <laughs> Now, th this, you saw the Minotaur last week, right? Uh, the Devil Minotaur. Yeah. Yes, we've had him. He, he, he was, was the beginning. He was the beginning. And I said he needs some friends. He needs friends. I don't <laughs> know if they've established a working relationship yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> okay, here's one version of the Mad Scientist. Here's a small version oh, gosh. of Devil Minotaur Man. The eyes have it. I, I don't know. I just, I, I, I did this for an illustration for Mariah. I said, this is kind of what I envisioned the cat's eyes. But she would have made us. I was like, guys, yeah, I like the big eye. <laughs> I'm watching you. Just thought that was funny because that wasn't what I did. I, I send her little pieces of scraps of paper. And sometimes I don't interrupt her because she's... I fit these in between, you know, the, the, the J-O-B. And if she's in the midst of something, I, I just put it down on her desk and, you know, back out of the room. Now, I did want to... What are your feelings on the way that this is going? Oh, I love it. Okay. Love it. I do a little. Okay, so here's another mad scientist and here's well and then we had a discussion on it was really like the mad scientist and then his helper that's rolling his eyes at the crazy scientists <laughs> see if you put them now i'm going to have to make them a little less cutesy but i, I have no problem with that okay i'm going to put that back on there because that's going to be i'm going to stencil on that okay here's um, I will put these, like, if you guys like these, I just really wasn't sure. And they, a couple of them need a bit more work. So, yeah, because they have floppy chins. See this? Yeah, they got floppy chins. Um, I, I will put them in the shop as a set. Yeah, this this one needs a little, a couple of things down there on the bottom, too. Zombie Man. Frankenstein. Or I could break them up into like, you know, the kind of keep the kitty and the eye and the witch 
as a set. Yeah, and see, we, we talked about this. Yeah. Um, he broke, she broke <laughs> here, and then she just continued, and she she needs some more little... <laughs> she needs a chin job. <laughs> she needs some tab tabbies put on there. Oh, look how cool this looks. Like, you can put them on top of each other and make them look kind of... Wonky. Yeah. Oh, I think that might be really cool. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'll play with those. And, yeah. But I thought these were interesting. I thought that they had a lot of... <laughs> I know, yes, we relate to the... Yeah, we, we've got floppy chins, too. <laughs> I was so proud of Mariah getting the wart on the nose because that was really important. And what she did is she... I had a whole page of witches. I really had a problem with wit, the witch. She sort of took parts and pieces from all of the different witches. Which witch? Which witch to use. And none of them had everything we wanted. And she did a fabulous job of I Yeah, I, I added the hair. Gave her some bangs. I felt like she was given too much forehead. Sometimes one needs bangs. I'm a, I, I like my bangs. And, and she did some other stuff to the hat, too. And I her see. mouth. Yeah. See her little, little toofies? Her toofies well, this out looks there. really cool in the in the monitor. <gasps> Look at that. Here, you wanna? Oh, it's still a little, little wet at the top there, but. Look at that loveliness. Oh, give it a second. We freaked it out with the. Oh. Okay. Or hold your hand up and bring it. <laughs> she does that so fast. <laughs> Did I do it? No. There you go. There we go. And we're back. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. Yeah, I'm loving that. Oh my goodness. Isn't that... Anne wants to know about the female mad scientist. Well... Oh, well, I think this one might... The one that has <laughs> hair. You know, the... the <laughs> uh, what is that? Androgynous? Yeah. I think that this is... This could be her. She, she's going gray. You can tell because of the stripes there. <laughs> and she has very large ears to hear with because that's yeah. what she does mostly. And she's rolling her eyes at the other side. Is, is like, listen, listen to yeah. the other. That's right. We're going to call her. Yeah. And maybe I fix it to where her. Like she has maybe more hair. Well, she doesn't need more hair. I think her hair's fine. Well, you know. Yeah. I Give her some just, earrings. Oh, earrings would be lovely. Okay. I, I would totally applaud that. All right. So the assistant is now becoming the head scientist because, you know. Because she listens well. She, she has listens. big ears. <laughs> She's going to have earrings. <laughs> well accessorized. Yes. <laughs> I just am really. I mean, I, I mean I'm going to have to. Ooh, it is still wet. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Uh Oh, the, are you talking about the Band-Aids? We do both have, like, you have a, a Band-Aid on and I have a Band-Aid on. Oh, We're, well, we've I had, had a really <laughs> bad eczema spot there, and it, it keeps hitting this rough stuff. The reason is, is because I scratched it originally on that gla the glass one. That thing is mean. And it has just turned into a really angry spot. Oh, Mariah, I just love this. Yeah, I'm very pleased with how that, that that's going. Now, that doesn't mean it will look like No, I, I think... Some gel printing on top of that in, in some transparent color would be pretty cool. Could be. Just to tone some of that blue, some of those blue areas that are a bit screamy. And, and make it, because you know what I get the feeling of on this one is it's almost like uh, the metal stuff that you put on steps. The metal stuff you put on steps. The steps have this raised metal surface like oh. on trucks and whatnot to get in yeah what is that called um i know it has a name it does have a name I... but that is my hmm. feeling with that it's very industrial it is and that could and go I with don't this think I necessarily... it could go with our scientists very well oh yes you absolutely. know in the crazy yeah, lab and and our our house Oh, okay, so, that reminds me. Um, I'm going to hand it over to you so I can talk through it, but you can kind of 
point out the things that you want to point out. Because really, it, it was your direction. I think I'm going to gel plate this first and then texture it with okay. the fine tip. All right, guys. I really need some ooing and aahing and love because seriously, this <laughs> took me two days. My poor little brain. And look, look at the lines. And the, <laughs> like, I got to indicate which is the inside because they line up. <laughs> okay, this is, and, and look, I don't know if you can see the, this is the little, and it, it's got little sharp edges too. Yeah, hold it still for a second. And then you can, it focuses in. Very nice. I think this is what's giving things the stitching look because that's what a lot of you guys, in fact, Anne was the one who pointed it out over there in Seth's group when I posted the pink page. That, that So the abstract web, when used with texture paste, has that stitching look, which is really cool. So what I determined with this whole thing is that and this is going to flop back and forth. So the hand will be visible. So it's, it's got a frame just like we built for the the cover. Okay, so yes. All right, here. This doesn't go in here. No, that does not go in there. That goes on the page part. This goes here. Yes. And then we're going to hinge that piece. No. Helps if Dear the Lord. bottoms she's still, go she's, together. You got... <laughs> Tell you this thing is yeah, this, is, this, this thing is, is snake bit like with just our brains don't work this way. <laughs> she still doesn't have it right. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I am bound and determined. I, I have it. written on there inside inside. inside. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then <laughs> this is going to strategically be placed just like it is. It's a gel print. So that this goes on top. And then, then it the will hinge one, one way or the other. I, we're, we're still, yeah, and then the one, the whatever page is on this side is also going to be a background for perhaps the hand. Well, it has to be. Well, no, remember, so we decided that possibly doing a pocket on that inner page, just a strip, remember, at the top and the bottom, then you can slide different gel prints in there so the hand goes on top of it. You can be grabbing it. Yes, and you can change it out. Anyway. Still That's some... the plan for that. I'm going to hand that back to Mariah because <sighs> that is definitely Yeah, she still doesn't area. have the vision on it. I, I have the vision. I have I just the actualization <laughs> of my vision isn't always in my purview. The bit of time that I did have to hang out upstairs this week was spent <laughs> on this. <laughs> Hey, she whipped those square ones out. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, I was whoa, like, I got this. Zoom. This is awesome. I can do squares all day long. I might even sell them in the shop if you guys let me know. An I hour can... and a half fussing around with the... But look what an this absolute business. Wonder, it, wonderful thing it is. I said, and the thing is, we need to make a template of that right now. Because there's a couple others. Because we have more of those, which let me just show that real quick. Because I've got that back here. Well, I sort of have it under the But these yeah. are things that Lisa sent. Because we would never typically I mean, get I don't, this sort I of stuff. I don't even know where you get it. Where you would go to get such things. But we've got this great skull, which I made a total awesome background for it. Now, I don't know, Mariah. We might have to this have This journal's new... going to be huge. A new frame. <laughs> but look at this parchment paper that Mariah bound. Then we have another hand. Can you see all that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And I'm going, I've got some that are not necessarily working for what I want them to do that I'm going to actually gel plate on this transparency yeah. stuff. And I thought what would be cool, let us know, please let us know in the chat. What would be cool is if she does something, especially with the web, and then brings the abstract web over with the impasto glass bead texture mix. Because oh. you know, we, well, there you go. Sparkly a, and kind of cool. Look, this looks kind of cool. <laughs> like this is cool. This is cool. Like that. One other idea we had with the the these X-ray things. That's what Izzy calls them. The X-rays. 
is being able to slide those in and out of one. Because see, I could make this to where like you could open the top like and a pocket and you could just change it out and then that way I only have to do one. That's, that's an option. Really lazy. That's really lazy. Well, that's not true because we're going to be doing those bigger ones. And I'm telling and you, your bring... pages, you have so many pages. Like, this thing is huge. There's folders. Just. <sighs> I'm hoping that we finish this by Halloween. I, I, I'm, I'm. And then I got to do a spook, spooky scrolls for the, you know, hashtag makers creative club. I, I've got some ideas. I want that to be pretty simple because, again, we're trying to keep those under 20 minutes, those videos. And I should have put everybody that is participating in that. I will come back and make sure that I kind of linked everybody into that just so you guys have sort of a, a starting point of knowing everybody that's in. Well, actually, you know, sorry. I'm thinking out loud. There's an event <laughs> created already in, in Makers. So, if you're part of Makers, you'll be able to see that. There you go. Done. Boom. Boom. Okay, these are the insides of the frames. Now, you guys saw those last week. She's done more work to them. And then we decided we like this side now. We didn't like this side before with yeah. the writing. But it's kind of cool that it's now you know, sort of you hidden. You can still see kind yeah. of says and B. And B. And be what? <laughs> Isn't that cool? And I don't really know what this this one says. I think they were the same. Yeah, and B. Yeah. Yeah, they but said the same thing. Can you kind of see this kind of batty shape there? I'm really thinking about, you know, going in and doing some. And look, you can see a face here. Mm-hmm. Kind of a sausage nose. <laughs> That'll be fun to work with. Okay, and here's just some more papers that I just went ahead and printed on top of, just so that they kind of, you know, went, have the went, same feel. Have, have basically the same feel. Okay, now. You've got 15 minutes. What are you going to show us? I'm going to show you some of the other things. I'm going to use the spider on something. I don't know yet what. But we talked I'm about. Bound and determined. I am using that jeweled spider. I don't know what to do with these. The toe tag, I, I've got to use those just because that just cracks me up. Um, gears are going to be used in there someplace. I love the bat. Love the bat. Love the cat. Love the bat. Okay, I pulled the cat. Oh. I pulled the cat off the other thing. But I, the reason I haven't done anything with these is I would like for Mariah to make me a stencil. This is the skull. It had some kind of weird, I, I don't know what it had on it, but it didn't fit my... But look at that. And that's with that spray technique. Mm -hmm. That just happened. I just put it on the right place on the dead gum gel plate. She was trying to get that earlier. Yeah. But again, tricky to uh, it, make it happen exactly as you want absolutely it. Absolutely is. And all these little tags, some of those will be re... But I think that one looks really good. Picked up some stuff. Those little <laughs> pieces of paper. Thank you for those. Okay, this was where the cat was pulled off. But I like that. It almost I, looks like it's on fire. I, I think so, and I, yeah, put the other side out there. I love this little piece of paper. This is... Ooh. And I, I, I that's somehow going to go into... I folded all these little things back. Ooh, that's cool looking. Isn't that cool looking? And this just, can't, I didn't do anything to the front. That's how it was. Hmm. But write some stuff on this. Oh, yeah. Make it so that it goes inside of here and attach a little thing so oh. that it'll pull out. A uh, fun fact from Edgar Allan Poe is going to go on the back of that. That's pretty brilliant. I think you did some stuff to that. It kind of looks, did. yeah. I didn't do it. This side was, it came out. I like that, like that, too. Like, yeah, I do, too. I'm glad I, you left some I things. I love this. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I drew witches' hats on the people. Did here. you draw those? Yes, because they had silly ones, and I wanted mine to be more <laughs> serious. Shut up. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Like, oh. I was like, that is really cool. See how they're kind of pointing in towards each other? Yes. They're visiting hats. 
And I'm probably going to get rid of the birds and the boo. No. I, don't, I haven't decided yet. But I love this woman. <laughs> and it just cracks me up. This is trick or treat. She looks like she's about ready to eat you. I think that's funny. I, I don't know what. I kept this because I thought the webs were cool. But I'm going to try to get some stuff on top I of it. I can help you. Yeah, I can help you I love you the that. lock. I don't know where Ooh. that's going to go. But it's going to go someplace. Another toe tag, which I just I absolutely love those. This is really nifty. I didn't do anything to that. Came that way. Oh, here, this we've done some work. This was the other thing that I worked on, which didn't take me long at all. Okay, so this this is going to flap up. Use some of Lisa's papers there for those of you that don't know, but I think everybody that's here and knows about saw her papers. Off that one little notch. It's going to open up like this and have some cool whatever's on the inside. Now I'm really proud of this one. Ooh. I just, this is a gel plate on top of it, cutesy thing, which I love the shape of the card. But, um, one, oh, the creepy pumpkin guy. Yeah. You know, somebody on here? Or even the, our, our pumpkin. I think the pumpkin, because it's the, funny because you've, you know, got the pumpkin, the peaky, weird eyeball pumpkin. Uh huh. And, and then you if you put cool a pumpkin spiders, on there. Yeah, put the pump. Do him in the middle with some of that diamond paste. And they like the toe tags. They're very. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how to use those yet. If you have ideas, please send them to me because I, I, I am bound and determined I'm going to use them in some way. I'm, I just yes. Make, they may just have their own page. You know, sometimes she just creates some things to stack on top of a journal, then wraps it up and puts some cheesecloth there. And then I have to photograph it all. <laughs> And figure out how, you know, that, you know, explaining to people that these were the parts that didn't fit inside. <laughs> okay, now I've got more pieces and parts here. So this is an ongoing thing. I don't know. We might be doing some more of this next week. If you guys are interested, maybe we'll build out some pages. Oh, I'll have it. I'll have it like, we'll, we'll have all the parts cut out and we can assemble. How does that sound? Like we'll start to kind of put the pages that go together, together, together. and then assemble it for you guys and, and, and show some of that. And then throughout the week, if there's time and everything in makers, we can do some posts and just say, hey, you know, what do you think about this or this? And that way we'll have those queued up and we can do assembly of these said pages and here, I wanted to show you, since we're kind of come here at the end, um, our cover, I think, is all pressed together. I'm going to keep this. Cause... Oh, yeah, because there's definitely no yeah. in your hand that back oh, to me. Oh, or I did hand it back to you. I thought it was still under here, but you've got the cover. Oh, I don't. Yeah, you do. I'm going to put it over there. See, this is how it happens. Yeah, this is how this is how things go. <laughs> oh no, those things are really slimy. I don't have it. You kept it. All right. Well, any, oh, I do. I'll put it right here. <laughs> I'll put it back over to you. Okay. What were you gonna say about it? That it is together, well done. Yeah, I think it's totally, we'll, yeah, we'll clean up the edges. I like coming back in either with a Posca or something. Doesn't that look awesome. So Thank loving you. it. Yeah, the only thing I really wish is I wish Judy had signed it right down there. Judy, why don't you send us your signature on a, on a, some tissue paper? Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll put it on there. There you go. Decoupage that on down in the corner. All right, if you guys are, if you kind of came in a little bit later or whatever, please give the, the stream a thumbs up if you're watching back the replay. That works as well. Um, if you're watching the replay, leave, leave us some comments below. Or if you guys want to come back and leave us comments, that helps us out big time. Um, if you are not a part of Makers, please do come over. Um, be sure to answer the questions. I'm not going to let you in. Or talk to somebody that's already in and they need to let me know. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> that works too. But we don't just, you know, it's, it's not letting in anybody that just 
Doesn't answer questions. Oh, I'm going to gel plate on these. Um, there will be more gel plate. The, oh, she found the ones that she wanted to gel plate on. And uh, then we'll we'll do the assembly of the pages next week. And I think that's kind of it. If there's anything else, oh, the hashtag Makers Creative Collab. You know, be on the watch for that. That's coming up. The drop date for that will be October 16th at 10 a.m. Super fun, a little hop kind of thing. The theme is Spooky Scrolls. If you want to participate in it and you aren't doing videos or anything like that, we're totally excited about that as well. Just make sure that you come over to Makers and post there. There are some other groups too. Um, we have Pegs, uh, Felicia, the Happy Paper People. Oh, I really hope I'm not leaving anybody out as far as groups. But inside of those groups, those are Judy, people that are in, Judy's, involved. Judy's creative. No, Judy, Judy's in our group. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> She's just a double her. whammy. I wanted to ask Lisa really quickly about this. Oh. I put the person's name on, or the signature that was on the back on the front, because I'm going to gel plate over this with opaque paint. But um, anything you can tell me about the person? You know where that came from, Lisa? Who did it? Who's original? <laughs> it says, thank you for your purchase. <laughs> Cheers. And she says to stay safe. I guess she thinks you're a dangerous kind of person. <laughs> I just really love this, th yeah. this a lot. And I, I'm going to do a, a page for, you know. The plague. The plague. The black. The first one. The bird man. Yes. The black plague. What, are they, what, what is that called? There's just some and they used to put posies and, and mm -hmm. flowers inside of there. Because, you know, death is stinky. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. <laughs> we'll leave on that note. Lisa, let us know. <laughs> she, yeah, and I got pretty much through all my piles. I, I know. I we mean, made it. Bit. And then some. We, we yeah. added some extra things in. That's awesome. So, take care. See and you we'll next week. See you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.